Um, we I haven't mean, discussed it. It's going to be a grieving process for me. Um, anyway. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be um, downsizing um, and trying to get rid of all the shit I've accumulated over the years. Of um, So that's one thing I'm really now thinking about. Like, I bought a new um, lunch bag mm. that is made out of recycled bottles, and I'm using that every day. I'm trying to, like, take as much as I can take my own lunches into work so I'm not using yeah. single-use plastic. So it's the net. I think this is the stage you go through. I think it's very hard. It is very hard to cut everything out at once because you... Especially you do you, do it gradually. You can't, you can't just do it overnight. I mean, I've, I've gone to um, uh, shampoo bars. Yeah, yeah, that, which that is probably come my in next tins. thing, yeah. But yeah, I've started using soaps mm. as well on my on my face, tea tree oil. Uh, Faith in Nature, by the way. Oh, Faith uh, in Nature. We'll link to really them below. Good. They're amazing because they're about like £1.80 for a bar of soap. But they've stopped using plastic yeah. in their packaging, so they now come in boxes. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna Couple try boxes. out the lush ones because mm. I I adore lush. I, yeah, I know a lot of people say, oh, oh they set me off. I, 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 I get allergic reactions it. when I, I walk past those really. shops. Um, it's just the smell of it. I love it. I start I, sneezing. Oh, do you know what? In their sale, because they're changing over their perfumes, I managed to get two bottles of my perfume. Should have come to eighty quid. I got them for forty quid. Oh, bargain. Yeah, that, that's the next thing I'm doing is the downsizing, yeah. thinking about... Being minimal. Be, thinking more about my consumerist, because I can be a really horrific consumer. And also single plastic. Yeah. Single use so, plastic. This is something I'm now starting to think about because to me it's the next step. You know, I've done the being vegan for four years. Shit, four years now. Yeah, yeah, just over four years. I know a lot of people have been vegan a lot longer than me and... <laughs> I totally. Well, we're the same. I went vegan just after you. Yeah, and um. But yeah, I'm exactly the same. I never used to think so much about the environmental aspect. No. It was just about the animals, and now you just got to think about everything. Like we've said before, don't. I mean, obviously, I think a few new vegans will be watching it. People will try and take you down at every single point. Oh, you're doing like I like I said the other day on the video. You wear you don't wear wool, therefore you're wearing synthetic fibres therefore you're impacting the planet yeah. and it's like people who eat meat and consume dairy and aren't vegan will try and pull you down at yeah. every single little opportunity because of their own cognitive dissonance yeah and the thing is it's like let's all just stop trying to put each other down and just say let's all work towards it like you know this morning on the news the doomsday clock we're, we're done now yeah we're done that's it we've, yeah we've killed ourselves as a planet we've we've completely screw this planet and I say it to my students and I just turn around and say I am so sorry you know I do understand it from the baby boomers you know they they've just gone through war of course they started consuming ridiculous amounts but we now have to turn around and go we cannot keep living like this and we've got to be more compassionate to we each have other. well it's the same argument with KFC Burger King all the big meat companies, meat brands that are releasing vegan burgers. The thing is, if they don't do that, they're not going to realise how much in demand it is. I did uh, love it. KFC on Dalston High Street had, we are sorry, we are not stocking the vegan burger. Yeah. And it was just like, they must have been asked so much oh, yeah. for it yeah. that they actually have to put a sign in the window saying they haven't got it. And I just think, this is such a sea change. It's a real turn of events and also it's the last year I think that we've really seen it change completely. I think we've said this every year. Yeah. Well we have, but it's like snowballed, isn't it? This year just it's become feels, massive. This year actually feels like I can't last year I was feeling that I couldn't keep up so much with all the veganuary stuff. It's overwhelming. This year now. it's now overwhelming to the point where it's like Okay, there's we have so many, like people will come up to me and say, have you tried this? And it's like, I can't try everything. That's really funny because a year ago, we were like really excited about new um, brands and Ooh. new foods that were coming out and we could keep up to yeah. a certain extent. Now, can't I don't even know what's that. Like, there, there's so much demand for stuff and that Oatly, everybody's doing it. Everywhere I turn, Oatly are advertising. It's literally everywhere I turn in London, yeah. there's a massive Oatly advert. The other day, I. I was just about to take a photo on the underground and the train came along. Three, I think it was at Paddington or Baker Street, I can't, Paddington I think. 
I was waiting for my tube train um, back from Paddington to work. And in a row, there were three different. It was KFC, yeah. Oatly, and I can't remember who the other one. And it was all vegan. Big billboard, and it was all about plant-based yeah. vegan yeah. products. And it was like, this would have been unheard of a year ago. Oh, yeah. We used to get excited seeing the Veganuary posters yeah. or seeing something. I'm not sure if it's just part of London life. No, I, th I think it's UK generally. Um, I wouldn't say so much worldwide because I think there are countries that are a little bit behind. I'm not saying that we're leading, but... I think, that, yeah, and I, I think, think there are. When you travel, you realise yeah, that, you know... we're behind other countries. But well. saying that, I mean, Vin's in Australia. He's been to Singapore. He started off on a bad foot with yeah. Singapore because they, he was in a hotel and they didn't really give him something straight away. But he did realise soon that there was so much choice mm. with vegan food and also the amount of restaurants that you went to saying oh, have you got anything vegan and they'd say yeah 90 percent of the staff are vegan or, or you know 90 percent of the food is vegan it's yeah. just a couple of vegetarian options yeah. and it's almost like it's gone the other way it's like it's predominantly vegan or vegetarian as opposed to predominantly meat well this which is, is what, brilliant but this is what i then found strange being at malmaison at the weekend it's like i'd emailed them and said i'm vegan when I got there in the, the for breakfast the next day, they didn't have sunflowers. They didn't have any spread that I could have, even though I asked. I, and Paul said to me, you should have just said yeah. sunflower spread. And I said, well, I can't ask for sunflower spread because some of it has milk Yeah, you don't know what's in, know. Yeah, in the ingredients. Um, they didn't have soy milk. It's crazy. They didn't. Well, they said they did, but then I mean, they didn't bring it but out. But you to think me. about that, and you think soy milk is really kind of old-fashioned yeah, now in a lot yeah. of sense because there's such a wide yeah. range of plant-based milk. So soy it's, milk is like I don't even think of soy milk anymore so because I that's just, the real basic one. So I just found it really weird because then obviously, well not obviously, but then we went into um, Oxford for dinner because I'd read that Mel May's on and looking at their menu, their menu for vegans is just appalling went into Oxford and we went back to banana tree again and I had an amazing Thai green curry. I weirdly bumped into my friend Verity, mm. who I used to know from Deptford, and she was going, oh my God, have you seen all their vegan stuff here? And it's like, yeah, this is why we've come. And yeah, like, it's amazing. Oh, I tell you what, if ever you get to go to a banana tree, try their soya satay sticks. Oh, wow. Oh my God, their soya dip. I their, love satay. Their satay dip is Die That's one of my favourite dips actually because I, I love peanuts anyway. But so. when it's done well, when it's not done with peanut butter, but when it's done the proper way, right. with chilies and all. Is it really hot though? Is it quite fiery? I don't think so, but you might. I don't think so. I give it a go. I'm gonna take satay. you to banana tree. I'm gonna take. Yeah, you let's to, do it. I'll take you to banana tree because yeah. honestly, the flavours in that place are amazing. And thank you for watching. Yes. Don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it and subscribe. And we'll see you very soon. Have a lovely rest of January. Bye-bye.